Hi everyone. Um, I have one question in AS level question. Yeah. This is coming from nine seven o two six yeah. Uh, February March yeah. Uh, question by part two. This number three. Okay, a uniform beam AB is stitched by a hing to a wall at an A as shown figure 3.1. Okay, this is he at point A beam yeah. and then the beam has weight W and weight 12 Newton and on this portion B they have tension from string and the string have angle A, 50 degree to the horizontal the beam has length 0 0.50 meter with w a block width 12 newton rest on the beam at a distance 0 0.15 meter from nb the beam is held horizontal and equilibrium by a string attached between N, B, and a fixed point C. The string has tension 17 Newton at the angle 50 degree to the horizontal. Okay, we have several questions A, B, C, and so D, E, yeah. Okay, let's check one by one. Yeah, uh, I'm not use the mark scheme. Please check is it uh, uh, correct or no? Yeah. Question one. State two condition for an object to be equilibrium. To be equilibrium. This actually, yeah. Total force equals to zero and also total moments equal to zero. Yeah, we can write here. Yeah. Resultant force, yeah. Resultant force equals to zero. Also, resultant moment at the point moment yeah at the point yeah this on the point A actually yeah, equals to zero also. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So. Uh, Sometimes in mathematic notation is sigma f equals to zero. Yeah, this sigma tau equals to zero. Yeah. Both of this, uh, the object can be. Yeah, we reset as in equilibrium. That's it. Okay. Uh, continue B so that the vertical component of tension of the string is 13 Newton. Okay, uh, this uh, we have tension on the string is 17. Yeah, this consists of two force on the horizontal, also force on the vertical one. Yeah, we can decide like uh, this 17 Newton. Yeah. This seventeen Newton. We split into x and y. Yeah, on the theta is fifty. Yeah, degree. So on the x is seventeen cos fifty, and then on the vertical one is seventeen sine fifty. Yeah, that's it. So when they ask about uh, the vertical one, yeah, uh, 
can say oh sorry hmm. no yep on the vertical one tension on the vertical let's say ty this equals to 17 sine yeah. 50 degree it's about if I use calculator yeah. Seventeen times seven fifty equals to about thirteen point oh two. Yeah, this thirteen point oh two. Yeah, so we can say this is thirteen newton. Yeah, that's it. this. So proof. Yeah. Okay. How about C? By taking moment about A. Calculate the weight W of the beam. Okay, on the A, yeah. Oops, sorry. I want to erase. Uh. A, we check here. Yeah. The pivot is on A, so we can say this W twelve newton and also T on the vertical one. Yeah. Uh. So here, uh, I won't use this piece here. Uh, here. Total moment on the A equals to zero. We have W times uh, this a half here, yeah, a half of length this beam. Total length is 0 0.50, so a half is 0 0.25. Yeah. Okay. And then plus also, yeah. Clockwise one, yeah. This this clockwise also. This is also clockwise. Different with this one, yeah. On the vertical one uh, of the string is negative. Yeah, why negative? Anti-clockwise. Yeah, anti-clockwise. This is clockwise, and this is also clockwise. So here, twelve times the distance is zero point three five. Yeah, zero point three five. Zero point three five, and then negative. Uh, the vertical component is 13 right this yeah 13 so here 13 times distance between a to b is 0 0.5 uh, this equals to 0 yeah mm. then from this uh, Yeah, we, we can find W, uh, we solve this, yeah, minus this one, and then divide it by 0 0.25. I repeat again here, yeah, W times 0 0.35, yeah, plus this plus yeah, 12 times oh sorry this 0 0.25 0 0.25 yeah a half of length oh my god and then 12 times 0 0.35 yeah and then negative 13 times 0 0.5 equals to 0 yeah so 0 0.25 equals to 13 times 0 0.5 minus 12 times 0 0.35 2.3 2.3 
zero point two. Nine point two. Yeah. Oh. Wait. This actually we already get the W equals to nine point two Newton. That's it. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe here. Yeah. If you like this, please push the button like and please follow us. Yeah, follow back. Uh, sorry, uh, subscribe. Calculate the magnetic vertical component of the force extracted of the beam by the hinge. Okay, this on this beam. Yeah, I raise force. I use the the other color. Let's say use other colors, blue. This one, yeah. We need to find this. Let's say normal contact force on the A, and then we have W, and then we have twelve newton weight, and then we have thirteen. Uh. So from this, yeah, we can say like this, yeah this plus n minus w minus 12 plus 13 equals to 0 why like this because we use yeah this coming from total force equals to 0 yeah this on the x total force on the x equals to 0 also uh, total force on the y equals to zero then we use this here yeah, total force of the y equals to zero this yeah okay then yeah so you can see this uh, w is weight is about 9.2 yeah this 9.2 yeah so we can calculate this normal become yeah uh, 30 with uh, 9.2 2 plus 12 minus 30 It's about 8.2 yeah. Newton. Yeah, that's it. Okay, the last question. The block is now moved closer A yeah, to the beam. Assume that the beam remains horizontal. State whether the change will increase, decrease, increase, decrease, or no effect of the horizontal component force exerted on the beam by Hink. Okay since we know uh, this object move closer to n a yeah move closer to n a wait wait no move closer to n a oh and we go to here yeah go to here yeah. move closer to n a so what the component force on the hinge component force horizontal force yeah let's say this is n x this is n y yeah this is n y yeah so is it equal when uh move so uh tension rope yeah will be Mm -hmm. here we can say like a uh, weight move yeah weight move yeah 12 newton move yeah not with yeah 12 newton move
the first effect is about tension rope moment of tension rope it will be decrease yeah. so means tension rope is decrease decrease so also tension rope on the horizontal one also decrease yeah decreases hmm. when uh, tension rope on the x is decrease means this is also normal force on the y also decrease yeah That's it. Yeah. Here, I repeat again. Yeah. The object this going near to the NA. So means yeah, uh, moment of force yeah by the distension yeah it will be decrease yeah here this tension it will be decrease yeah so this also yeah tension on the horizontal one also decrease yeah when here it decrease so this on this position also decrease also right yeah. Yeah. because they don't have any uh, effect on the vertical one yeah the film. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I hope you understand. Please check on the mark scheme. I'm not yet used mark scheme. Uh, tell me if there is a lot of mistake. Okay, thank you very well. Thank you very much.